Hi, I'm Pat Morris, your host for the PM Talk Show. Our telecast is made possible by these fine underwriters, and we thank them very much. Locally owned and operated by Drs. Wheaton Boobridge, the Animal Care Center in Hammond and Pet Care Center in Ponchatoula have six vets on staff with nearly a century of combined experience. Celebrating our 30th birthday in May, the Animal Care Center has offered a full line of veterinary services, which includes medicine, surgery, grooming, boarding, and seven days a week emergency services. Our mission is to provide the highest quality of veterinary care in a professional, compassionate manner. The Animal Care Center and Pet Care Center, a commitment to excellence with love and care for your pet. Hello again, this is Pat Marsh, your host for the PM Talk Show. We are out here on beautiful Miller Lake and we're doing a segment on 8th grade students who will be advancing to the 9th grade for the next school year from Hammond Junior High. And our guest today, one of our guests, is Miss Callie Bergeron. She's an 8th grade student. She's in the PDP pre-diploma program and she aspires to be uh, in fashion design. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. We're so glad you came on and we're, we're happy that you're in the PD program. Can you tell us what that means and how important it is to you? It me Once you get into the pre-diploma program, it prepares you for the diploma program, which is in 11th and 12th grade, I believe. And it prepares you for college and once you complete it, it does give you college credits to where you can move on to the next grade, even if you're just a freshman. Right. So theoretically, if you complete the program, you can start out uh, in college as a sophomore. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Of all of the areas that you wanted to do, why is fashion design important to you? Um, when I was younger, one of my favorite things to do was to play with my dolls, and I love to draw, I do love art, and I would always like to draw the princesses, and drawing, designing new dresses for them was one of my favorite things to do, so as I got older and I realized it was a profession, I really got excited about that, and I just decided that that was what I wanted to do. Okay. What has your experience been like being a student at Hammond Junior High for your 7th and 8th grade years? The experience was really good. The curriculum was fantastic. It helped prepare me for the LEAP test very, very well, I believe. And it was just a really good environment. What were your learn. teachers like? Uh, what was your experience with your principal as well? My teachers were very, very caring about the students. If I just had one little problem and I told the teacher about it, they would be very open and help me to fix this and go above and beyond. And Mr. Perry is a very wonderful principal, in my opinion. He does help us a lot. Okay. This is a question that I asked earlier. If you were to take something away from Hammond Junior High into Hammond High, what would that thing be? They had a lot of strategies to help with different aspects of learning, such as writing and math. And I did use the strategies for the LEAP test mm -hmm. and in everyday life, so I would take those away, okay. like the CUBE strategy for math. Okay, if you, if you were to become a school teacher, what strategy would you take from the school to give to your students? The writing strategy, the BCB4 strategy. Okay. Um, Explain that to, to our audience. What, um, what is that all about? Well, you read the passage and in the strategy you pull out facts to help, to help you write about whatever you want to write. If it's a information if you're trying to write about something for information, to give out information, you would pull out facts and you write a foldable about these facts and you would say how are they important to you and that is the start of each new paragraph. Okay, in the field or the profession that you want to go in, how is that strategy going to help you? With advertising. When I do interviews, I can use this strategy to help talk about how this 
I can use the strategy to say how you should buy the clothing that I make. Right, right. So you'll be able to sell your product. Yeah, and that's how uh, a lot of people sell things. You got to convince me that this is the right thing to buy and my product is the best product. Um, if you had an opportunity to speak to Mr. Perry and to your teachers, what would you tell them? I would say thank you for all of the, all of the caring compassion that they gave us and really just helping us to achieve our goals and achieve other people's goals set for us. They did a really phenomenal job this year, and I am grateful for that. Right. right. Uh, where have you decided where you'd like to go? Yes, uh, I have. Um, well, I'm debating between LSU and Parsons, mm -hmm. and I think that if I do go to LSU first, it would help me get my degrees for Par Parsons, so that is my plan. Okay, do you, I'm sure you plan to have your own fashion design company one day. Yes. Right, that's good. Um, are you looking at working for the big expensive stores or a sector of movie stars or, or what area do you want to go in um, and do fashion design? I do like bridal, okay. so I would like to have a bridal line out, but I actually would want to do movie okay. movies, so I guess just depends on whichever job I take. Okay. I like to do a lot of them. But well, certainly we're going to be following you and looking at uh, you as you move towards reaching your goals. And I'm, I'm sure that you will be w well received. Uh, you sound like you have a great talent that you've aspired to do because, yes. you know, playing with the dolls and drawing the pictures and mm -hmm. what have you, to me, that's an indication that this is something that you have a passion for yes. and you'll do well in it. Um, do you have any closing comments that you would like to say? Uh, how, how would you encourage other students who may come, may not come, how would you encourage them to follow their dreams? I would say don't listen to what other people tell you. Just follow what you want to do and do you should look at the curriculum of schools to see how they would help you to follow what you want to do and i think cam and junior high could help you with that because they do have a lot of things but you should really just follow your dreams instead of letting other people tell you what sh you should do right right and if you follow your dreams you'll achieve whatever your goals are do you feel that way yes okay well, that's great. Do you have any closing comments that you'd like to make? Uh, I would like to say thank you for, to the people at the school for preparing me for the life ahead of school um, and for teaching me real, um, for telling me about all of the things that I will need to learn in life and to help prepare me for high school and eventually college. I think there was someone you wanted to do a shout out to. So we're going to say it. Someone, somebody said they wanted to do a shout out. I thought it was you. Um, it's okay. Yes. It's okay. As I was eating this morning, a person came up to me and told me to give them a shout out. I believe his name was Chad, I think. So. So Chad is looking. What do you want to tell him? Hello. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we certainly thank you for coming, and we encourage you to continue to do as you're doing right now, because once you get to the other side of through, you will be happy that you followed that dream, and now it has become a reality. So thank you, and we're getting ready to go for a break before our next guest. Shelters are the best places to find a new pet. What a perfectly beautiful little lady. That's where you'll discover healthy, loyal, and loving animals. Cute little rascal. Eager to become a part of your family. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Oh, ladies first. Be that person. Adopt. This is living. Hey, kid. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. 
We're back. This is Pat Marsh, your host, and we have our second guest who is also an eighth grade student attending Hammond Junior High. Uh, she's an aspiring attorney slash psychologist, and she wants to open a couple of Fortune 500 companies, hopefully one of them in Louisiana. <laughs> and we're talking about Miss Alexis Armstrong. How are you doing today? Great, great. I, I had an opportunity to attend a science fair at Hammond Junior High and I saw your work and I met you and I was so impressed uh, with your dialogue, with everything that you had done and I'm thinking, wow, this child, is, she's really amazing. So we're really, really proud of you. We're proud of all of the students, but you're a member of the pre-diploma program. How does that help you? And in talking about that, how is it that, what has your experience been like being a student at Hammond Junior High? Well, Hammond Junior High has offered me multiple opportunities and I believe that's what genuinely helped me get into the PDP program because I've had the chance to explore uh, other tracks of education that I never thought I'd be interested in. And I guess that's basically one of the key factors into being into PDP, leaning into the learner profiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say you, you want to be a lawyer first, then a psychologist. Uh, why a lawyer? Why a psychologist? A lawyer? Well, basically because that's always what I want it to be. I mean, I like to talk. I argue. <laughs> uh, I stand my ground. Mm -hmm. And I know what's right and what's wrong. I want to defend somebody and make a change. Okay, and psychologist? I'm not completely right in the head myself, and I believe <laughs> that I just I just want to work with people. I want to reach out, help someone. Okay, well, you got to be right in the head because you're talking about owning a Fortune 500 company, and you got to have some kinds of skills in order to do that because that's a lot of money that you will be dealing with. Why a Fortune 500 company, and why would you be interested in, in having one in Louisiana? or in Tashpahoe Parish? Well, not just because of the money, uh, but because this is, this is where I was raised. This is where I grew up. I want to stay in contact with home. I want to let people know that even someone from here can do something big. That's great. That's really great. Uh, looking at your teachers, looking at your principal, what would you say to them that helped you to get to where you are now? Um, I'd say they were the most caring and attentive people ever. They really, uh, they challenged me. They pushed me to do my best and to just keep going even when I didn't think I could. And now you know you can. Absolutely. Now you know you can. What would you take from, what will you take from Hammond Junior High to Hammond High School? I would most definitely take uh, everything that I've learned, like from, well, to explain it, from the beginning of the year, I have changed a lot. I'm more social. I think I've gotten tons more smart, and I'm just more of a people person and all about what I need to do now. Right, and when you look at the professions that you want to go into, you have to have some level of social skills in order to influence what it is as the people will want you to do. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I believe so. Okay, okay. That's, you can't talk by yourself, huh? <laughs> you got to be able to talk to somebody, and, and the, the idea is to help in the area that you, areas that you will be in, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tell Mr. Perry something that <clears throat> no one else has said to him in letting him know what his leadership has meant to you. Well, Mr. Perry is a visionary. He's someone who has shaped everyone at Hammond Junior High into better people. He is letting everyone know that our generation is not what it is stereotypicalized as. We are great, we can be obedient, and we're destined to be something. 
Right. I tell you, when I first uh, met you at your science fair, I don't know why I had doctor in my mind, but that's what you impressed me as somebody who would be a good physician, but lawyer's good, psychologist is good, all of that is good, and certainly Fortune 500 companies are good too, because what do you think a Fortune 500 company would do for Tanchpahoe Parish? Um, it would broaden the attraction to the place and make people want to come here because I see someone from this small town um, making it big and doing something. So I guess that influenced them to come here and make them want to do that. Right, and certainly as Tanchville Parish is positioned, as uh, Attorney Nelson Taylor said last night, in the middle of everything, everything that you would need for your Fortune 500 company, you're sitting in the middle of where it will all come to you, right? You mean your highways, your airport, uh, your interstate, your waterways, everything is here. And all we need is somebody like a, an Alexis Armstrong that can get the job done. Uh, have you decided where you're gonna go to college? Um, not quite yet, I just wanna go somewhere where I can focus and carry out my dreams. Okay. You should be going into Hammond High School with two courses already under your belt, right? Yes, ma'am. What are they? Uh, English 1 and Algebra 1. Wow, so that means you can get into Algebra 2 and just tackle it. Uh, English 1, the, what is the program, NCB? Uh, the writing program you Oh, you VCB4. Yeah, yes. yeah. Will that or has that helped you achieve? The VC before has helped me achieve uh, many things within my writing because I'm also a writer and okay. it has improved my techniques. It has made me uh, broaden my vocabulary mm -hmm. and it has taught me a way to strategize so I won't be repetitive. Okay, and if you continue on the track and I have every reason to believe that you will, once you graduate from Hammond High, you will you can enter any university pretty much as a sophomore, is that correct? Uh, yes, ma'am, I'll have uh, credits fit for a sophomore. Okay, well that's great, and I, I want to encourage you, uh, Alexis, Miss Armstrong, because you're gonna be a millionaire one day. <laughs> I want to encourage you to keep on keeping on, and in your closing remarks, what would you tell another student that would make them see now what you saw when you became a student at Hammond Junior High? Um, Hammond Junior High is the land of opportunities. It may not seem like it at, at first, but looks are deceiving. So never just go by the first glance. Keep on and do what you believe is right. Okay. Well, certainly we thank you for coming and we're gonna be watching all of our guests that came on today to talk about their experience at the school and what it has meant to them. Uh, we want to encourage you to keep on keeping on and as I say all the time to young people, I don't care who it is, don't let anybody distract or discourage you from being what you want to be because the opportunity is there. Just take advantage of it, okay? All right, we're gonna go and we'll bring our final guest for today. We'll be right back. Shelters are the best places to find a new pet. What a perfectly beautiful little lady. That's where you'll discover healthy, loyal, and loving animals. Cute little rascal. Eager to become a part of your family. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Oh, ladies first. Be that person. Adopt. This is living. Hey, kid. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Welcome back to the PM Talk Show. This is our final guest for today. We have back with us again, Mrs. Tressa Hart Jackson, who is the Middle Years Program Coordinator designee for Hammond Junior High. Uh, we're, we're glad you're back with us, Ms. Ms. Jackson. And we wanna talk about a special celebration that's coming up in, on April the 27th at the Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church here in Hammond, Reverend Tamarlin Carter is the senior pastor. And this is a community scholastic 
celebration. And this is for kids all over Tanshpahoa Parish who have talents that will be uh, given an opportunity to display those, those um, talents at this celebration. Uh, will you have any students coming from Hammond Junior High and in what area? Absolutely. Um, we will have students representing in all areas um, from the STEM track, um, agriculture, biology, technology. So yes, ma'am, we will be in the house. Right, right. And that's good. And it's an opportunity for parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, cousins, and whoever to come, friends to come and see the kids showcase their talents on this Sunday. Um, you all, the Hammond Junior High opened up one of the board meetings at the central office. And I'm telling you, it was awesome. It was powerful. It was motivational. And to see how the kids engaged board members, how they engaged uh, other people in the audience, and how they cheered each other on, what gave them that motivation? Again, we, we strive off of synergy. And it goes from the top down. You know, there's this story that I won't get into in this book that I won't refer to, but things flow from the top, from the head down. Yeah. And that's what we see at Hammer Junior High Magnet School. If the top is excited, if the top is motivated, then it can't help but to spill over on everyone else. So that's what happens at Hammer Junior High Magnet School. Our principal is so excited about what's going on. He's so excited about motivating students, about uh, pushing students to the next level. And that's what happens. It spills over onto our faculty and then ultimately to our student body. Right, right. And I agree because one new student that came, uh, I'm hearing a lot of positive things on how other students engage him in activities. Well, come on, let's do this. Come on, let's get together. And that's a good thing. And I, I think the grouping sessions that you taught on a, about a month or so ago, I believe it was, uh, whose idea was it to do that? Of course, Mr. Okay. Perry. Okay. He is the mastermind behind uh, everything that we do. Uh, he eat and sleep student achievement. Right. But literally, he's up all time of the morning and night because we collaborate all the time. Right. So he, again, he's about the students, he's about student achievement. So he's the mastermind behind all of the strategies that we incorporate at Hammond Junior High Magnet School. And it is awesome because it does, it forces the students to talk to each other. And in real world and global society, you won't be solo. There will be things, will be people. and others that you will have to talk to and be able to communicate with. And again, that's one of our STEM skills as well. Okay. We're employing critical thinkers and problem solvers. And all of that just works well with our um, cooperative group strategy. Okay, can you tell the audience how Hammond Junior High is mirroring Hammond High and Hammond High is mirroring Southeastern? Absolutely. Um, everything that we do at Hammond Junior High Magnet School we uh, try to make sure we mirror Hammond High because we want our students to be ready for um, that experience at Hammond High Magnet School. And if you know, of days of old, we always were frightful when it was time to move from middle school to high right. school because we didn't know what to expect. We didn't think we would fit in. We didn't think we would make the cut. But we tried to eliminate those fears of our students at Hammond Junior High Magnet School. That's why we went on again with the block schedule. And that's why we do the same classes and courses as they do. So our students students will be able to flow into ninth grade. No fears, no stopping, but just flow right into where they need right. to be. So all of that stuff is eliminated in the time that it would have taken to exactly. get through the fear. Exactly. Then they're prepared and there's a smooth transition of going on in order to continue on the track that they're on in order to possibly graduate from high school early and going on into college and graduating maybe a year early for that matter. Uh, how important has the student said to you as the uh, coordinator that this is for them? Does it, do they ever come up to you and say, well, Miss Jackson, I really appreciate what you, you done, you're doing and I see the need for it? All the time and especially their parents. Um, we're constantly getting all types of communication via text, via email because all of my parents um, do have my direct number mm -hmm. 
and they know that they are welcome to call us at any time or right. whatever manner of communication is needed. So we're always continuously getting those thanks and um, we appreciate what you are doing, how you're setting our students up for success. We're grateful for it because remember many of my students, mm -hmm. they come from other schools. Right. As a, so as magnet transfer students, they're new to our school. And so we have gotten raving comments of how no other schools, and I'm sorry, I'm not just bragging because yeah, I'm at it's Hammond facts, Junior High, true. but as the students would say, it is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it really and is. We get raving reviews about how it's just a, such a different environment when their students or their children are enrolled in Hammond Junior High Magnet School. And what we try to look at it as, Ms. Pat, if my son would go into another school, another setting, I would want him to be treated in a certain way, right. a certain manner. Right. And so every student that comes through my hands, that comes through those front doors, mm -hmm. I treat them as I would treat Elgin. Right, so it sounds like you put yourself in the place of a parent and how you would want your child treated, as you say. And it determines, it helps to determine how you're gonna treat someone else's child. So mm -hmm. would you say that that makes for a great parent-teacher or school collaborative? It does, and not only that, but also community, right. because it spreads over into the community right. as well. Right, and somebody goes and tells somebody that. Absolutely. And I heard a lot of that last night after, you know, Attorney Taylor was there. I heard a lot of positives, and people just, you know, you pass them by, you hear them talking about the programs because your school came up in the conversation. So are there any closing comments that you want to say to, to the community or to the parents of the students that cross your doors? Every yes, ma'am. Again, thank you so much for trusting us with your children. Um, again, we like to say to the community, come in and see what we're doing at Hammond Junior High Magnet School. Um, we are the premier, I'm sorry, I can't help but to brag on it, but we are the premier middle school. Um, if your child is not at Hammond Junior High Magnet School, they're missing out on an awesome, awesome education, an awesome opportunity to um, be what the previous students that you've heard, to be what they're uh, aspiring to be or achieving to be. It is like Walmart. Right. You know, Walmart, we just go in Walmart and get everything we need. Right. At Hammond Junior High, you can come there and get everything you need. So again, Come see what we have to offer. We would love to have you and your children. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming, Ms. Jackson. And we're at the conclusion of our program today, and we want to thank all of Hammond Junior High participants, the students, Ms. Hart Jackson, for coming and letting the people know that there are some good things that's going on at Hammond Junior High. This is Pat Marsh, your host. We want to say thank you for continuing to join us. We want you to know that knowledge is powerful, and as you've witnessed today, it does matter. Thank you. Have a great week, and God bless.